800 pages, filed by 200 concerned parents, students, school employees, and residents along bus routes. These are the complaints filed between August and November of 2016. Amy Catcher, the spokesperson for the school district, says that number is not alarming. County buses transport 20,000 students, make 9,500 stops, and travel nearly 20,000 miles each day. So we're talking about a lot of buses making a lot of stops. We wish there weren't any complaints, but unfortunately we know that complaints will happen. We wanted to know where the most complaints are filed and how bus officials respond. The top offender, bus number 361, which serves the East Brainerd area. We found complaints ranging from the driver running late to expressing being overwhelmed by the job. On August 22nd, a woman allegedly witnessed the driver breaking traffic laws by rolling through a red light when making a right turn. Hamilton County's Transportation Director Ben Coulter said he'd look into this, but there's no record of corrective measures. Bus 366, the one involved in the Woodmore bus crash, also logged 10 complaints. On November 16th, Woodmore Elementary's principal emailed saying several students reported the driver swerving and purposely trying to cause them to fall. In this case, Coulter asked Durham to pull bus video to investigate the claim. Bus 379, which transports Red Bank students, came in third with seven complaints, ranging from overcrowding concerns to unsafe driving. On September 8th, the principal from Red Bank Middle School told the transportation director about students reporting the driver slammed the brakes and may have had his cell phone out. Coulter also forwarded that concern to Durham. We take every complaint we receive very seriously. You've got to remember a complaint is an allegation and a lot of times an investigation must be completed. We followed bus 361 which tied for the most complaints to talk with parents along the route including this mom of a seven-year-old at East Brainerd Elementary. If it was an option my daughter would not even be on that bus. Keisha Wilson says she voiced concerns about her daughter's bus driver speeding and not arriving on time in November. I just couldn't imagine, you know, if something was to happen to my child just because someone's not taking their job seriously. In the days following Woodmore, the school system saw an uptick in complaints from moms like Wilson, more than double from the month before. Folks are being vigilant and maybe before they wouldn't say anything, now they are. The catcher says the district weighs all complaints the same. There is no ranking system. The county defers to Durham to take action against drivers and that is where the paper trail ends. Catcher says for the school system or Durham to look into an issue, it has to be reported. Keisha Wilson says she's keeping a close eye on her child's bus and won't hesitate to pick up the phone. When you drive a bus route, that's not really a job. I mean, you have a lot of little lives in your hands whenever you're driving.